Okay, time for this final assault to begin. 40 divisions. Okay, let's let's fucking go. They're done. The Frenchy dogs are dead. Excellent. Excellent, finally. This nightmare of a campaign might just be over. Uh, if we just take Paris, I wonder if a surrender event or something is going to play out. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, how do we deploy our guys? I feel like we move the HQ over here. That is very much fine. Then these guys go up here. These guys do this. These guys do that. Something like it. I'm getting counterattacked in Sedan once again. They are beating us. Okay. Holy moly. They're beating us quite heavily indeed. But this is actually good. This is actually good. If we just keep feeding troops into there, that's going to distract a whole bunch of troops which are not going to defend Paris. I'll get a little bit more... Uh... Rest and replenishment for my guys. And now... We do a little bit of attacking. These air bases really aren't getting repaired fast enough. This is sad. Excellent. All right. Let's see if we can consolidate our positions and then plan for the final assault, which is going to happen by now in June. Damn. Imagine being worse than historical Nazi Germany. That's pretty much what we are at Warfare, at the very least. Uh, not at everything else, because uh, it's not that hard to be better than Nazi Germany at most things. All right. I'm getting just like Omega bombed. This is incredibly annoying, but like the, the most annoying that that is like making me is the just like constant alerts. All right, I just need my guys to just get their organization back up and uh, yeah, just uh, pump in some IC for the reinforcements and uh, and to set the speed to fast because I'm gonna wait like a week or so for everyone to get back up to full strength, or whatever. And, uh... In terms of terrain, it appears like attacking Dieppe might be the best idea, but... It's not the best idea ever, because... We can only attack from one province, and also it's across a river, so it might be a t better to... Make our offensive towards Chateau Thierry, or if that doesn't work, Rams. Getting bombed by Australia, goddammit.
yeah, gonna attack Chateau Thierry and uh, try to overrun the last of the French. Alright, we are ready for the big offensive, June the 11th. Let's go. Now. Most of this infantry kind of sucks, so I'm not going to use it to attack the main target, which is Chateau Thierry. I'm going to keep the motorized and I suppose this panzer division as well in reserve, as well as this um, cavalry division. And I'm actually going to use mostly infantry. I'm guessing I have quite a bit of infantry with artillery. It appears like most of them were in Sedan. That's kind of sucks. Uh, I need to move them up. Yeah, let's move a couple of these cores up. And uh, I guess we just use the ones with the better infantry units. The infantry tens and all that. To commit the main offensive. Let's go. 25 versus 11. Yes, this is going to be really easy. Now, I'm getting, of course, counterattacked. Once again, it's Sedan. I'm going to send reinforcements. And I guess some of these guys can move back. And only one guy can move up. In the meantime, these 15 divisions that are sitting around doing nothing are going to attack... D up so that we can embroil the enemies in even more combat. And it appears like a, our big breakthrough is currently happening. Okay, okay, now what do we do? Oh, my infantry got there first. How interesting. Now, of course, one part of the troops is going to attack Paris because why the hell not? Another part is going to move towards Troyes so that we can continue engaging the main enemy army. And now we activate the armored units. We are surviving. Okay, yeah, my guys are retreating to Mont. That's that's good. That's good. Um, so Sedan did eventually fall, but that brings twenty-seven French divisions to our doorstep, and we are flanking them hard because my tanks are in Troyes and my infantry is supporting them, and also we're moving into Paris.
All right, here we are. Let's see if we can spread out across the country, sort of. We're attacking Verdun now. And in fact, it seems like I can attack Longui, which is only being defended by one lonesome garrison. Just pretty pathetic, not gonna lie. Paris is doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, we got defeated in Sedan, that's fine. We just need to embroil those guys. You go for to Bordeaux, so that in case we need the VPs... Yes, 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 very good. Excellent, fantastic. Oh boy. If we take Belfort here, we encircle everyone in the Maginot line. That's quite great. In it, bruv. In it, great, bruv. Okay, we actually took Paris as well. Uh, and if we get to Le Havre before the Frenchies retreat there, uh, we're gonna have taken out those 11 divisions that are in Dieppe currently. Oh boy, it's going great. We're also smashing the HQs, which is very, very good. We're just finding random ass HQs all over the place. Italy joins the Axis, sure. That's because the Frenchies are getting destroyed. Hey, they might actually even advance. Because the Frenchies aren't surrendering somehow. Wait, how did 14 divisions get here? Excuse me? Very interesting. We'll make sure they don't reorganize. There's a bunch of annoying-ass Frenchmen escaping. This is something that's 
making me quite sad, to be honest. Oh, nice. Oh, come on, there's a bunch of enemies in Le Havre. Okay. Damn it. Random British divisions. Okay, they just randomly disappeared. All right. How have the French not surrendered yet? We took Bordeaux. <laughs> Like bro, we took we took Bordeaux, bro. Bro, come on. Come on, bro. Don't don't be like that, bro. And Italy appears to be like just Appear, they, they appear to just be going completely fucking nuts. They're spazzing out. They're not doing anything. We, are, we actually even need to attack the Maginot line. Because some of the guys in there are escaping away. I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to get the bell fort. There we go. That's that's the entire enemy army encircled. The question is, can we actually get to them? <laughs> because uh right now uh it's only the tanks fighting the entire enemy army. Well, let's give them some support with our planes. Do you mean you finished with your ground support mission? You fucking little nonce. There we go. Wait, tripartite pact. Tripartite pact. Sure. I thought that that was the surrender event. Come on, man. You're being really cringe. Yeah, we do have 12 aircraft pounding the enemy. Oh, there we go. France inquires about the conditions of armistice. Fuck me. Three months. Jesus Christ. Let us claim Paris and the North. Let us claim a historical partition. Or let us claim all the metropole. I'm gonna claim a historical partition. Are you gonna accept? The armistice of Refond. No immediate effect. No immediate effect? What the fuck? Game do be bugged, currently. Um, it's going completely fucking nuts!
Well, I mean, his entire army is fucked, so... That's his, that's his issue, to be honest. Even if he doesn't want to surrender, he's still going to win. The Italians are actually helping. Incredible. What? Bro. Bro, don't troll me. You're trolling me. What the fuck? Yeah, game really do be trolling me currently. But how cool is my air support currently? Time to get to Cherbourg and encircle the enemy in Normandy in the Falaise pocket. Really now? Incredible. Nothing like this can ever happen. Oh, there we go. They accept. Les Tons Francais. Here's Vichy. Alright! The fucking French war is over! Incredible! Here's a bunch of British forces still kind of stuck up here. Oh, there's actually a bunch of British in uh, Longwy. Alright, I'm gonna stop everyone currently. Because they do kind of need to get reorganized. My entire army needs, uh, needs some rest and repairing, to say the least. This was a tough motherfucking battle. As a whole. But we have triumphed. Like, damn, imagine... Holy shit, look at these stacks. That's one thing that I love about... Uh, about Darkest Hour, about this game, is that the stacks... When, like, a ton of divisions start to, like, pile up in promises. It's like, oh, yeah. Look at that. Anyway. Um, I will be getting some extra industrial capacity from the north of France. But I will also need to... Suppress a whole bunch of... Um, a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of um, rebellion, and to do that we need uh, garrison units uh, because these these motherfuck garrison units of police because these motherfuckers suppress a bunch. As you can see, this unit currently will have thirteen suppression. Uh, so we just scatter these all over northern France. They're really really cheap. We just scattered them all over northern northern France, and uh, in one year, we're gonna have France subdued. However, unfortunately, this, of course, costs stuff. However, I am very happy to be done with this, this campaign, and uh, next up, we did things in a little bit of a weird order. Uh, we took out France before we took out the Norway and the, and the Denmarks. Uh, we're going to take out the Norways and the Denmarks with... Um, of our transports that are currently building and our glorious Kriegsmarine and all that. Uh, which is currently, you know, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the thing. Wait, you're not building the other things? Yeah, you are, you are building the other things. So yeah, soon enough our, our glorious uh, Kriegsmarine is gonna be not terrible, hopefully. And, uh... Yeah, we, we do have a bunch of transports ready to do their, their duty, transporting our glorious Aryans over to Norway, where we're going to make them into Aryan again. And also, we're going to take out the Danish dogs, because fuck them. Fuck them! Fuck Denmark! Anyway, this will probably have been split into a lot of parts. Oh, the Italians are fighting in, in, in Africa. Um, do we have... Oh, we can do the, the diplomatic offensive. Great. 
<laughs> we can do Operation Tannenbaum? Okay. Yeah, Veserubung, um, which is going to be the invasion of Norway. Meeting at Hendaye. Oh, we can get in Francisco Franco. Meeting at Montoir. Can invite France into the Axis as a puppet. Okay. Paris is controlled by a friendly country. Germany is at war with the United Kingdom. Oh, okay. That's pretty great. Yugoslavia signs the tripartite treaty. Oh, nine divisions in Graz. Yes, 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 yes. Let's actually do Yugoslavia as well. Because if we if we do that, then that sets off the chain of events that sort of leads to the Axis invasion of the Balkans. And I'm fairly certain I can uh, I can draw in uh, these people into the Axis now. Not by diplomacy. Align Bulgaria. Relations with Bulgaria is 50 or more. And we need to have drawn in Romania. To do that, we need divisions in Hungary. How do we get in Hungary? Maybe the... I'll start influencing them. Maybe we need... Um... Maybe we need the Yugoslavia events to have happen. We can do Fal Attila! Wait, no. What do you mean, uh... I thought that that was Hungary. No, that's uh, Gibraltar, is it? Oh no, that's Annex the Nation of France. Wasn't that case Anton? Oh, whatever. I don't know. Um, and we can do Barbarossa. Of course. Of <laughs> fucking course. Um, yes. Time to send our boys over to Graz. Once that's done... We're going to move into the Yugoslavian! Yes, that's, that should be the first objective, to be honest. Yugoslavia. I think we only need one tank core for that. Really. Like, Yugoslavia ain't tank country. In fact, instead of tanks... Uh, they're still kind of busy currently. Well, they're not busy anymore. I'm gonna send in the motorized divisions and only one panzer division. And I'm going to send the tanks up to Denmark. Yes, 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 yes. I am the smartest general of all time or something. Anyway, I am going to do the reorganizing parts off screen, but I'm... Damn. Marcel, Marcel Pierre Golaz, do be head of state and head of government at the same time, and he does have a Hitler stash, and he's a social democrat. Anyway, um, we're going to soon invade the 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 people here, and uh, I suppose we're going to reorganize also our priority was what priorities when it comes to unit production, and uh, perhaps we're going to increase plane so that we can perhaps do some air superiority over Britain and eventually do Sea Lion with our glorious uh, Kriegsmarine once our, our glorious Kriegsmarine is a thing. And in the meantime we're going to be producing armor for 1941. Yeah, no idea how we're going to be ready for, for that because this motherfucker has 400 IC. How's our intelligence looking when it comes to 23% efficiency. That's pretty fucking pathetic. Um, 345 infantry divisions. Holy moly. Yeah, we're gonna... I wonder... I wonder if we're gonna be able to actually defeat the Soviet Union, but whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah, wanna thank y'all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this everything, and I'll see you soon.